and the Mosasaur is in the mix now. That's what you call a melee, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. Everybody bite and bite hard. Oh shit, here comes an alpha. Well, there's no escaping. This is do or die. Welcome back, everybody, to Arc Survival Send that I'm an old guy, gave me name. Now look at what we have here. Excuse me, sir. I am trying to start my video here. What level are you? Probably a shit level. I have not come across a high level Rex of any, yeah, level 60, uh, of any caliber for since we tamed Chomp. And Chomp's stats kind of suck. Anyway, that was a huge interruption. Let's start over. Welcome, everybody, to <laughs> our. Uh, <laughs> Uh, this episode here, we have our army. It's not ready, but it is fully imprinted. So I have a, a, a 19 Therizinosaurs that are fully imprinted. Uh, what still needs to happen is we need to get them leveled, and we need to get their saddles made. Uh, two pretty big tasks still ahead. But uh, what they can do is they can sit there and start gaining some passive levels. Uh, and to that end, what we're going to do is we're going to go out... And we're going to find ourselves some Lystros and just plop some Lystros down in front of them and go tickle their belly as often as we think about it. And that'll help with those passive levels. But our main goal for today is that we are going to go back to the Western Sea Cave and give a good account of ourselves since uh, the last time we were in there and had the disaster that we had. Uh, so yeah, that is our main goal for today. Now the Alpha Carno there. Oh yeah, we have um, 145, I think it is. Yeah, 145 Spinosaurus that's hanging out down here. Um, I don't really have a reason to tame it, to be honest with you, but just the fact that it's a, a high level Spino, which is extremely rare, makes me still possibly want to do it. So, I don't know. We'll see. That's not the priority today for sure. Good lord. What's up with all the Alpha Carmos and stuff around here? We got some Rexes. That's a level 25 and a level 30. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm probably going to do a Dino Wipe. I, I have not done a Dino Wipe since we started this series. So, all the Dinos on this server are the ones that it started with, aside from, um, you know, the ones that have died and been respawned and whatnot. So yeah, those are all those are all issues for another day. Uh, today we are focused on getting our those little lystros, and then we're going out and doing the sea cape. I have uh, two fully imprinted uh, male and female basilosaurs, and I, uh, and of course, I bred them out at the Eastern Sea base, and so I swam them over to the Western Sea base last night and leveled them along the way. Uh, each one of the Bassies has 40,000 health, about 2,000 stamina, and the rest is going into melee. So I think the melee's, I don't know, four or 500, something like that. Uh, but the main purpose of the Basilosaurs uh, are to be tank tanky tanks. Uh, the sharks are the ones that are going to really be doing all the damage. So, yeah, uh, it's going good. And is that a Lystro down there? No. Um, I'm not even sure. If, I mean, I'm sure there are Lystros around, but if they are, they probably get eaten pretty quick in this area. We'll go over to the central field and take a quick look, seeing if I don't find them there. We may have to, uh, you know, go out to one of the beaches or something. But we're going to need more than one just because, you know, they can only, they can only um, buff, I don't know, what, three or four dinos at a time or something like that. So, yeah, we'll need more than one. I don't know. I don't think the level matters on the Lystro. Ooh, look at the colors on that guy. That's cool. Uh, they might. What level are you? I'm still not opposed to a very high level wild Anki. I'm pretty much done looking for wild fairies because we got pretty good stats now. 
Um, I still put a glass on them anyways, just in case. If I've come across a 150, I'd probably knock it down just to see what it had. But um, we would be very hard-pressed to find a wild Therizino that's got better stats than what we currently have. Uh, that almost looked like a Lystra there, but I think it's just a stone. Okay, so... Lystros, where are you? You little hot dog dinos. Um... Bugger off, bugs. Okay, yeah, I might have to... I might have to go along the beaches to find some. I'm kind of not wanting to actually go that far at this point. I might hold off on that and do, do that off camera later because I want to get started on the on that cave. And I'm not, I'm just not spotting any Lystros. <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? I, I think I'll worry about looking for Lystros later. I do actually have one out at the Western Sea Base that we don't necessarily need to keep out there. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't work very well for swimming creatures because you can't put the Lystro in the water. Uh, what? Did we already check you? I think we did. You're level 45, yeah. I do like the colors on this bird, but I am, I have no, I, I don't have any more plans to breed Argies. I've got lots of these really cool looking Seahawk colored, sort of kind of Seahawk color, um, Argies. And I put them, I'll put all the extra ones in cryo so I can breed more if I need to, but I'm pretty happy with Seahawk and Mojave. So those will probably be our Argies for the rest of this playthrough, unless something crazy happens. Okay, well, let's head on back and get ready to, to head out to the Western Sea Cave. In fact, I am pretty much am ready. I, I need to grab some of the usual buff foods and stuff like that. So I think I'll just uh, meet you guys out there. And we will proceed to take on the Western Sea Cave. Okay, guys, we are here at the Western Base, and there's a Lystro right there. Brought some flowers with me, just in case we find one. Ah, oh, really? Oh, you're 95, I suppose. All right. Have to wait for him to... Be ready for the next bite. Let's go ahead and park the bird inside here. I hit an alpha raptor on the way over and got some pretty decent stuff, actually. Um, okay, so... Yeah, I'm just going to leave all that stuff in there for the moment. All right, so we have um, our shark squad... They're pretty, they're pretty much leveled up. Um, you know what we could do, now that I think about it, is we could bring the Baryonyx with us too. And that way when we do the little land part, we could use the berry to fight the critters. Why don't, why don't we do that? And it, you know, it should theoretically anyways, it should be able to hold its own. Uh, anyway, here's my two basilosaurs. Uh, so, I decided to name the red bassy pepper, uh, as she's female, uh, and I thought that was a fitting name. So, yeah, she's got uh, 40,000 health, 2,000 stamina, and 448 melee damage. Okay, and she's also got a very good ascendant saddle on that I got at, at some point out of a loot drop. And then Ghost has the same stats as pepper but he came out with the father's colors uh so yeah we name him ghost and he also has 40,000 health 2,000 stamina and almost 500 melee damage so i need to pull all this stuff off of him uh so these guys are in good shape they're mate boosted they're imprinted 100 percent imprinted um and they are 
pretty close to being leveled. I, I mean, they still have more levels, actually, and everything that they I do get from here on out, I'm just going to put into melee for them. So we're doing good with that. Um, and then all of the sharks are, again, they're not maxed out leveled, but they're pretty close. And all their damage, uh, or all their health is 15,000, and then everything else that we have for, for them goes into um, damage. Where are you going, bud? Yeah, nice, huh? You're, you're happy to be a part of the team. Okay, let's uh, put you on passive, put you on two, and... I will carry you back home when we are finished with this endeavor. And we have, a, like I said, we have that other Lystro too. Uh, where is the other Lystro? Oh, maybe we don't. It usually sits right here. I wonder if a seagull got it or something. It shouldn't, though, because the plants should have taken care of any seagulls. Uh, Ichthyornis, rather. Uh, okay, let's remove tracking. R to dismiss. So, yeah, it, it helps the ichthysauruses with, with the levels, but... All right, well, yeah, let's do that. I want you to be on, yeah, you're on number four follow. Uh, you, oh, we don't have a good saddle for you, though. What are you, yeah, you're seven, seven. I never fully leveled this one because it's just always been the one out at the sea base. It's got pretty high damage, um, reasonable health. Well, we're going to take it anyways, and if it survives, it'll be that much stronger. If it doesn't, well, then it doesn't. So, I want you to follow Pepper. Pepper's the lead. There we go. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay. I was, I was thinking about turning item collection off on the sharks but you know we we've got a huge amount of hide that we got to farm uh, for those saddles so i think i'm going to have them collect for that reason i'm also going to take the therizino army out um to level them and also to get hide i know they're not the best creature to get hide but they can get hide so we'll kind of kill you know two birds with one stone doing it that way let's put this stuff in here stick the oil in here and uh, grab a little bit of angler gel cook it up because it will spoil throw that oil in there too yeah this this is our gas refinery um okay all of these sharks are our breeders and I haven't actually been breeding them lately they're just kind of sitting there for now um, in fact I should probably bring a cryo pod fridge out here and cryo them up at some point but of course we're not going to do that today now as far as we're concerned um let's do get rid of this crap here uh, we'll keep i don't care about those okay we don't need to bring an axe or a sickle under the sea we don't need to bring our high level Long neck or our darts. Our darts should go in the fridge, though. Um, I do want to bring a weapon, but we don't need to bring all these weapons. So let's bring the assault rifle and the shotgun. We'll keep the sniper rifle and the pistol here. We, we, we should bring a pick just in case. Um... You know, the other thing I was thinking about doing is bringing um, the pig down there. 
I wonder if it's got enough O2 to survive the trip is the thing. Yeah, I don't know about that. Let's uh let's test that theory. Let's just see how if you know what the feasibility of that is. Okay, let's bring a couple of um a couple of these. One of those should be good. One of those should be good. One of those should be good. And uh, maybe we bring a storage chest to put down there, too. And you know what? If we are going to bring the pig, well, we'll just we can just keep meat on the pig. If, if it can make it down there but let's let's just see if it's possible to get the pig down there oh okay hold on let's get it Make sure it's got max stamina and oxygen. <laughs> Are you out of the water? Okay. Okay, so it's got max stamina. It's got to be able to get down to the cave and through the first part of the cave and surface. So if we start taking it in that direction, I'm just watching its O2 meter. Yeah, I think it might, it might actually be able to do. It's got it. We got to drop way the hell down there. I think it's got enough O2 to make it. Um, okay, so that being the case, I'm going to escort it down there. Baryonyx, and we could, we could down there. Maybe I escort it down there with the berry actually. And we could probably just leave the berry down there, too, for that matter. Yeah, this thing's got a pretty significant amount of oxygen. It's not even halfway down yet. We've been submerged for quite some time. So I think we can make it. 7,000 red meat, that's all I got, huh? Um, I don't think there's actually anything other than the pig here that eats red meat. So let's just grab everything we have there. We can harvest more from things like plesiosaurs and whatnot. Does this does this guy eat fish at all? Or gal rather? Let's drain a little bit of food down. I mean it's a pig. You'd think it would eat anything, right? Hmm, it doesn't seem to. Well, it's not eating that either. Okay, well, this is what we got. If I have to haul down you know, some more red meat later on. Then I have to hold down some more red meat later on. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to... We're going to make a couple of trips. We're going to take the berry and the pig and the two bassies down first, and then we'll come back for the sharks. I don't want to try and take them all down in one fell swoop because it's just going to be a cluster. And, you know, we can't screw around. we got to get the pig... Uh, down there like immediately so we can't be messing around with um wait what what the hell's going on oh you know trying to get sharks unstuck and all that kind of thing okay so that means we don't want you to currently follow ghost ghost should be following pepper the berry should be following pepper and the pig should be following pepper okay 
Okay, let's stay on the surface until we're right above the cave. We'll give the pig, uh, make sure the pig has a full uh, set of air. Okay, Nurse Piggy, you ready for the dive of your life? Let's do it. Down, down, down we go. Hopefully there's not like a big alpha mosa right near the entrance, which there can be sometimes. Looks like we're in pretty good shape. Might take the pig a little while. Well, for that matter, the berry too. Oh, you know what? Maybe the pig's not going to dive down. Yeah, you know what? It isn't going to do it on its own. I'm going to have to steer it. <coughs> All right, well. Hmm. Are there any megalodons around that could attack it? Not that I can see at the moment. That's a that's a big risk though if I if I leave that there. Okay, here's what we're gonna have to do. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna clear. Oh, wait a minute. Oh no, it's it's coming. Okay, never mind. I thought it was just gonna stay on the surface and circle. Okay, let's move. I don't want to enter the cave until the pig is at the same level as us, or it'll get stuck. Look at you go, Nurse Piggy. Okay. You guys get out of the way. And then follow me. Piggy coming? Uh, where's Piggy and Barry? We don't have time to be doing this, you guys. Piggy, you're going to have to either be smart about your pathing or you're going to drown. Okay, Piggy's actually being smart about her pathing. Where the hell's the Baryonyx? I don't know. You know what? Screw the Baryonyx. If it can't keep up, it can die. I don't care. I am so sick of Baryonyx pathing. You know what? Ghost isn't going to help me because we're too deep. Okay. Let's kill these guys because they'll try and come after us. What I should have done is come down here and done this first before we brought the pig down, but... Hindsight's 2020 and all that bullshit. I just want to get the Nidereas because if they come after the pig and stun it, it's dead. Okay, let's get going up through this passage. And I'm starting to get concerned for the pig's oxygen. Where... Where is the pig? If, it, if it's stuck, it's probably dead. Uh, you know what else we should be doing is... Um, date on. This is... Oh, did it die already? Shit, it's not even showing up on the list. I think it's already dead. God damn it. Yeah, you know what? Okay. Next. 
if I try and do this again, we might not even need to, but, um, yeah. Okay. I, what I need to do is come, I need to clear the pathway first and then swim the pig myself down here. It's just, it, it's too complicated. The pathing's too complicated for it. Okay, well, I'm going to run back, get the sharks, and I'll meet you guys back down here at the cave, and then we will proceed. If you guys haven't seen um, the issue with Baryonyx pathing under the water, this is a good example of it. See how it's trying to follow me along the bottom of the sea instead of just flat out swimming? It's supremely frustrating. Um, the wild card, you need to fix that too. Add it to your list of very important fixes that you guys need to make so that you can then ignore and fix other shit that doesn't matter. <sighs> okay, anyway. We are inside the cave here. And um, we should be able to proceed through this channel without any resistance. That's the theory anyways. But once we get through the channel and out the other side, that's when the fun starts. So what I think I'm going to do is let's leave Pepper here for the moment. And... Let's go grab the Baryonyx and get it up on land. Yeah, they, they, they need to look at the AI for these things when they're in the water because they behave like as if they're still on land. And um, trying to move a squad of them through underwater in a train like this is very, very difficult. Okay, so yeah, I want you to come over here. Let's take this off for the moment. Oh, we got a blue crate right there. Um, and I'm just gonna have you stay here. No, no. That was my fault. Okay, I want you to be on neutral, or sorry, passive, so you don't just stay here and don't do a goddamn thing. That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do is nothing. Until I need you. Okay. Let's check this blue drop, see if it's got anything good. Uh, I, I mean, yeah, it's decent stuff, but not stuff we really actually need, but we'll take it. Let's get uh, these back on. So the general plan here is to figure out where the rest of the sharks are clustered up at. Didn't even notice that. I was so fixated on the baryonyx. All right. They're going to be down here around the corner. I don't think there's anything hostile through here. Not that I noticed, anyways. I really don't like the oily color in the cave. You know, these caves are just gorgeous with all the new colors and stuff, so why change it to a drab, oily color? It doesn't, doesn't make sense. Alright, so we need Soldier 2. Are you soldier two? No, you're four. Um, two is the one we need. I don't know if this is going to work or not. Oh, good. We got it out. Okay, cool. Um, oh, I was going to make one other remark for those of you who maybe have already started commenting. Um, you might be wondering, why didn't you just cry, oh, oh, shit. Well, that's one way to get the sharks out. Why didn't you just cry, oh, the pig and bring it down? And the reason for that is because I stated in yesterday's episode that we will not be using cryopods to transport dinos. That's just a, a rule that I set at the very beginning of this 
well, not at the very beginning of the series, but based upon my intent for the beginning of the series. <coughs> so that can't, you know, that means we couldn't use the crowd pod based upon that rule. If you think it's a dumb rule, I don't necessarily disagree with you, but there's a reason for it, and that's because we're trying to we're trying to do this playthrough with a semi-authentic original feel, and cryopods were not in the original game. So there you go. So now you can you can delete that comment. Or actually, don't delete it. Send it anyways, because the comments are still good for the channel. <laughs> <coughs> okay, so the next challenge is to get the group through the channel without them all getting clustered up. So, let's just move through it and see what happens. And we'll We'll fix stuff as we go. Um, sometimes there's a loot crate through here, but it doesn't look like one's going to spawn this time. And that's fine. So we're going to stop right about here, because as soon as we go around that corner, that's... That's when it's all going to go down, and we're going to see if all our hard work and improvements are going to pay off, and I think they will. Yeah, see, there's a whole bunch of Sharky Poos way over there. Ah, oh, you know what I didn't do? Damn it. I should have brought some normal arrows, but we'll, we'll get some off the sharks when we loot them. <laughs> okay, so looks like... Both of the bassies made it through, okay. Let's get, move you over this way a little bit. But the sharks did not, of course. Okay, nothing's aggroed, right? All right, let's get the rest of the sharks through here. Okay, let's put some things in here that we don't need yet. I'll come back and get my armor and the berry when we clear the next room before we do the land the land stuff um, we don't even need the canteens at all and yeah let's keep this with us in case we want to maybe shoot like from the back of the shark or something <laughs> okay all right, you stay there. Well, actually, no, we should have you join the fight. What am I thinking? We can use this stun ability. Yeah, you definitely join the fight. Okay, so here's my here's my plan. Um, and maybe we could even use the berry for this. I'm going to rename you to Barry because we already have a soldier one and it's confusing me as to who's who. So your name is Barry. We'll use the Barry to to start pulling the groups over to us, but we'll fight them over here. We're not going to go gangbusters right out into the fray. Um, yeah, so, okay. Come on, Sharky Poos. Let's do this. Come at me, brah. There's a a Mosa, it looks like, over there, too. You guys gonna come, or what? You're... You, are you... Oh, here they come. Okay. So are you, like, just wise to what's going on here? Is that what the deal is? Oh my god, here they come. Shit, I, I want to be on Pepper for this. Where, do the, where does that ginormous group come from? They just like come out of nowhere. Wow, okay, I hope we got the wherewithal to do this. I think we do. We're a lot tougher than we were last time we were in here. It's just that all of the sudden, there's like 30 sharks. <laughs> it's just bizarre, man. And here comes more.
Okay, let's get the Electro for us. Oh man, my wrist is killing me from just smashing the attack button. Oh. Okay, we need to take care of the jellies because the sharks. Well, they're not going to stun all the sharks, so... Oh boy, here we go. And the Mosasaur is in the mix now. That's what you call a melee, ladies and gentlemen. My goodness. Everybody bite, and bite hard. Oh shit, here comes an alpha. Well, there's no escaping. This is do or die. If we if we all get through this alive, uh, we're going to have some levels, that's for sure. Ghost is just sitting there, but he's providing mate boosts. So that's good. Too deep for him to attack, is the problem. And he's a tough boy with a very good saddle. Most of the other YouTubers that I've seen do this cave, they they try and like, you know, stealth in. And, and that there's nothing wrong with that. That is a good smart tactic. Um, but if you're going in just trying to take this thing head on, wow, what a fight. Goodness gracious. But I think um, our army's up to the task here. Here, let's uh, at least give ourselves some points here. We got a level 30 alpha here. That's not too bad. Yeah, stealthing through this cave is not a bad tactic at all. Uh, yeah, considering how... Oh my god, <laughs> what a fight that was. Uh, I gotta rest my arm and my wrist for a second. <laughs> I don't think we lost anybody. Well, we might have. I just... Here, get out of here. Uh, I just didn't notice. They don't make it as obvious as they used to. Okay, so we did lose a, the berry. Okay. Man, that kind of sucks, but that was a lot for that berry to handle. I should have I should have kept it on land, but that's okay. I mean, we're, we have very, very good equipment, so we won't have any trouble with the land dinos just on our own. <laughs> but we have, we have all the sharks. No, no sharks died. That is just an awesome, awesome thing. Wow. Okay. So, we do have some some damage to repair before we attempt the next room though so let's get everybody up to the surface yeah see I'm even even the bassies at half health okay let's take this off um I want to, yeah, let's just kind of bring everybody over here, away from the main opening. So I think we've completely cleared this room. There's nothing else in here to kill. Nice. Okay, so... We're going to have some healing to do. How are you doing? Yeah, you're, you're not terrible. This is where it would have been nice to have the, the Piggly Wiggly. Because we could have swam them back to the land and had them heal up, but that's okay. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at Soldier 1. Yeah, you are banged up, bro. But hey, you survived. Look at that, 13 levels, man. 
it's just gonna make them all the much tougher next time around. Okay, so let's take a look at two. You're in a little bit better shape. Move you over this way. Take a look at three. You're, you're pretty good, and you got six levels too, nice. Okay, and how about four? Four looks pretty banged up. Yeah. It's the saddles, you guys. It's those ascendant saddles. If we would have come in here with normal saddles again, we, we would have lost some of these sharks for sure. It's just... I, I'm still amazed at how dangerous this cave is. And people call this the easy sea cave. And it used to be, and, and Survival Evolved, it was not that hard. It is not... I, I mean, I, I don't know if the Eastern Sea Cave is also worse. We won't know until we get there. Uh, plus, these guys will be much more leveled up by that time. But this is not a, an easy cave. If, if you're going to take it head on like I just did, there's no way you can call this an easy cave. Huh, oh, no siree, Bob. Okay, six. You're, you're in pretty decent shape. So let's move you over here. Uh, okay, where is seven and eight? We know they're not dead. Where do, where are they at? I should probably actually put tracking on for all you. Did you guys like? Oh. I don't want to get near that. Okay, yeah. Let I better not get too far away from my my army here. Okay, let's go here. Da, 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 da. Tracking water creatures. Soldier seven and eight. Where are they? There's seven. And there's eight. Okay. So it looks like they got stuck. Uh, all right. Here's what I'm going to do then. I don't want to... Yeah, I don't want to swim over there by myself. So let's take Ghost over there. Oh. That's right. You guys are following Ghost, not Pepper. I forgot about that. I don't want to bring the whole kit and caboodle back over there again. Where's Pepper at? She's over here. Looks like we made it may have had a straggler. I'm not not expecting though to get a big rush until we get into the next room. So it looks like we may have done that entire fight sans two sharks too. So that that's even more impressive. If we would have had these two with us, it would have been even better, of course. But they got stuck because that's what happens in this game. Everything gets stuck. Everything goes in the mesh. Okay, good. All right, so at least we at least we don't have to heal those two up. All right, guys, so here's what I'm going to do then. I'm going to spend the next 10,000 years trying to heal these guys up a bit before we proceed into the next room. In fact, what I'm going to do is... No, change the plans. Let's go into the next room on foot and just kind of assess the situation, get the loot crates, 
Then I'll come back in here, start healing them, and maybe some of those loot crates will respawn in the meanwhile. So let's grab our, our gear out of the chest over here. Um, we got that explorer note the first time he came in here, but I had a, a weird issue at one point where the game reset my explorer notes, so... Aha, look at that. Okay, um, if you guys want to pause the screen and read that, go ahead, but it's basically the story about uh, Nerva, and he's the Roman guy that's trying to take over the island, so yeah. Uh, we've already been there and done that, though. Okay, um... I wish they'd fix this, too. I mean, come on. Come on, come on, come on, you guys. Do it right. Do it right. Get it right. All right. I'm guessing you'll be okay there. Are you still on neutral? No, we better put you on neutral in case you do get attacked by another eel or something. Okay. Let's put our regular armor on. Do have grapplings. Uh, we got this because we're going to run into bats. And this. And this would be a good time for us to take our stews. Uh, don't think we need the Freya. And I'm not going to take that either because... Uh, takes our health away. We only need it if it's urgent. Okay. Let's go check the loot crates. Assess the the other room. Oh, are you caught in the mesh or just caught behind that stalagmite? some of this real quick. What? I'm stuck on something. Where'd you go? Tough these bats are. It's just insane. Breaking 205 on it. Quit derping. Two fifty on it. Okay, well we haven't gotten mega rabies, so that's good. There's something else stuck in the mesh down there. Hey, what happened to our loot crate that's supposed to be up here, man? What the hell? Uh, it's in a different spot. Have some shotgun. Have some shotgun, baby. Okay, so this note's probably reset too. Yeah, it is. Tuso Teuthis vampiris is a very aggressive water predator. Approximately nine meters long, Tuso Teuthis is a terror of the deep. Once it grabs its prey, it slowly crushes it into submission while using the talons on its tentacles to siphon and drink the victim's blood. Tuso Teuthis is a terrifying opponent for several reasons. Firstly, its grab slowly renders its victim unconscious, so death isn't the only concern. Secondly, its vampiric blood drain instantly revitalizes it, even during combat. Finally, if Tuso Teuthis is losing the fight, it sprays a cloud of ink into the surrounding water, blinding its attackers to cover a sneaky escape. One of the major benefits of taming Tuso Teuthis is harvesting its ink. Unlike normal ink, Tuso Teuthis ink is very oily and can even be refined into fuels such as gasoline. 
Between that and Tusotuthis' distinct capability to grab and carry large creatures underwater, it makes for an excellent aquatic tame, despite its slower speed. Okay. Unfortunately, I think the game has put all of the loot crates in the water down there, which means we're definitely going to have to clear that room. Because uh, I don't see a single loot crate on land here. Something's mashed over here. Let's go down here. Oh! Ugh. Really? Okay, well, I guess it only happens in uh, first person? Well, no, not only. Come on, Ark. How am I supposed to deal with this? Alright, let's get away from the surface of the water. Yeah, that makes uh, going down there and scouting stuff not very viable. Um, let's do it this way then. Uh, I don't think there's a loot crate on the other side of that pillar, but we're going to check it anyways just so... We can be thorough. I need to get away from the surface level of the water because that's where that stuff is a problem. Yeah, you know what? Last time I was down here, there was there were sharks stuck in this mesh too. I think there's probably the water room on the other side. That's only thing that makes sense as to, to why that would it would be that way you're all caught in the mesh well I guess that works in my favor this time around What level are you? 275. We'll take a stimulant to counter the poison. <coughs> yeah, the cave is being frickin' stingy on, uh, on loot crates. Okay, well... Then I guess there's nothing for it but for us to go um, get our critters healed up and then come in here and do the second big fight. Um, I do want to do one thing, though. I want to go over to this little area here. And just... Oh, my head in the water. Nope, that's not a good idea. Not with the hills. Okay, yeah, let's not be doing that. Damn. Well, suffice it to say, when we get into this room, we're going to have another big ass fight on our hands. Oh, okay. Yeah, that wasn't too smart, was it? Not my smartest move. get uh, back up to the ledge from here. Sure enough. Alright guys, I'm going to go back, get the dinos healed up, and when we're ready to travel into this next room, I'll bring you back. Alright guys, um, this is, this is taking 
painfully long to do. Uh, first thing I need to remember to do next time is bring red meat down here for the Basilosaurus because it heals them much faster than fish meat. But um, the problem is, is, is not one of me being impatient. It's one of the time. Um, by the time I get these guys all healed up, this this whole room's going to repop. We haven't even gotten into the last room yet. So I'm starting to think we might be further ahead just to go for it and just, you know, come what may. Let's see if we can get, get through it. Um, it could be that the last room doesn't have quite as many, you know, megalodons in it as this one. I'm not... I wouldn't bet my bank account on that, but I, w I wanted to kind of get in the water and scout it a little bit, but obviously the eels didn't let me do that. So I got the two bassies healed up, and I think we're just going to go for it. And if we lose a couple sharks, you know, it is what it is. Um, we already got some repops down there, as you can see, um, eels and stuff like that. So uh, I, I think we need to just go for this. Um, all right. So that being said, let's jump back on Pepper here. And I want, it looks like Ghost is following me. And yeah, let's, um, let's push on here and see what happens. We need to go that direction. <laughs> and down we go. Where is, uh, the entrance? It's this, right? Yeah, this is it. There's already a huge group of Megas right there. I want to make sure everybody's with us and not stuck before we engage. All right, so Soldier 8's there. All right, let's do this. Looks like Ghost is maybe able to help too, which is good. So maybe we're high enough up. Wow. I forgot to put my my tank back on and I completely didn't notice it with all the noise and intensity there. Oh my god. All right. Um I think what we do is we jump on an ichthy ichthysaur and we just try and zip down there as quickly as possible. That was stupid. I, I was so intent on the fight, I wasn't paying attention to what was going on with me. You know what? I don't actually need these. Um, let's take um, some food with us and some medical brews. Uh, maybe some Lazarus chowder. Some chilies. Some of this. Some of that. Sure. Why the hell not? Okay. Um, who do we want to take with us? Imprinted mother. You. Okay. Let's see if we can... Recover. That's just downright embarrassing, man. That, that, that's all there is to it. I was, I was just about... Well, I was thinking and probably just about ready to say. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I obviously wasn't thinking, uh, but no, I was, I was thinking, Hey, this is going pretty good, you know? And then boom, I'm dead. I'm going, what, what the hell happened? Ran out of air, yo. Okay. Well, all of the dinos are on neutral, so they'll continue to fight and defend themselves until we can get back over there. going to stay up towards the surface until we get all the way over there because, yeah, we, we have repops now. Okay, let's... 
I'm not being pursued, am I? Let's just stand back and let them clear what's currently aggroed. Well. I got this stupid manta ray on me now. Oh, I got a lot of manta rays on me. God damn it. Nothing's ever easy. Maybe what I should do is just lure everything over there. Just pull them into the meat grinder, you know? Okay. Still got some eels and some jellies and stuff to deal with. Something just thumped on the ground. All right, that was not, uh, aside from my blunder of dying, that was not as painful as I was expecting it to be. Nothing's following me, right? I wonder if we should take the same approach here that we do in the ice cave where I just ride on the scout here and direct the army. Okay. Well, tell you what, first thing we're going to do before we do anything else is grab this. Because that's what we're here for. Oh, okay. Artifact of the Brute. And boy, Brute is an apt name, I gotta say. We got it. So, let's get rid of this. Now, um, obviously we got a loot crate, or, or a couple loot crates. That's a, we still got some enemies. Yeah, let's just tell these guys to attack. I, I'm really starting to think maybe that's what the way we should do this cave too is, you know, because when when I'm not riding on them, they're they're a little more. Flexible, I guess, in terms of movement, not getting stuck in that kind of thing. Okay, let's grab this. Whoa, what just happened? Okay. Yeah. That's just going to go on the grinder. I'm, uh,. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's swim about here and see if there's any more loot crates. In in um, Evolved, you, there could be a lot of loot crates in this room, but it also was not like these canyons, deep canyon things either. It was just kind of a flat room. I don't see anything glowing down here that would indicate a loot crate. Yeah, we got more sharks in the mesh there. Hmm. I kind of feel like we've been ripped off on loot crates in this cave, man. Have we, have we even found like a a yellow or a red crate? I think they've all been blue. Okay. So yeah, um, two a couple of things. <coughs> 
that I'm thinking. Next time we come in here, we direct the army instead of riding them. Um, and, you know, we could still do that from the Basilosaur, too. Uh, we probably should, because the problem with the Ichthyosaurus is even though it's fast and agile, it's still susceptible to, you know, eel, uh, eels and especially jellyfish dismounting. And, you know, it's nowhere, not even close to it, as tough. So we direct them and just use the, the commands, you know, the attack command and the go-to command, all that sort of thing. And the second thing is we got to get a pig down here because that that healing by feeding them, you know, the food, it's just, it just takes too long. And the problem, like I said, is then what happens is you can't, um, you know, then you get repops before you're even done going through the cave. So I think that's what we're going to do. All right, so here, let's do this. Let's grab Pepper. Uh, we didn't lose anybody, did we, by the way? Nope, just me. And I happen to be the easiest to replace. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Okay, let's have Pepper follow us, and then everybody else should be following Pepper. And um, let's get the hell out of here. You know what I might try and do, too, is when we get to the front room, I might put my artifact in the chest and then see if I can zip back in here and grab another one. Because, unfortunately, this is a cave we'll have to farm repeatedly if we want to farm Alpha Megapithecus repeatedly for element, which is exactly what I want to do. So that means this cave's on our list. Okay, it looks like everybody else is probably free. I want to make sure Soldier 8 is following behind, and nope, it's stuck. 7 made it through, but not 8. The nice thing about being on the Ichthy is, in fact, that it is fast and agile but just very susceptible to getting killed. I don't know if this entire room is repopped, but if we're going to fight him, I want to fight him up high. Okay, let's move. Oh, eels, 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 eels. There's a blue... Oh! Jellies, even worse. See, that's the problem of being on the Ichthy, obviously, right? Uh, you gotta stay away from them. Okay, Pepper's stuck. And we got a Mosasaur on the loose now. Alright, are we, are we good? Everybody move that way. You know what, though? I just... Oh, shit. Uh, I was going to put the sharks in a different group. Now I... Now now it's true cluster mode. Okay. I'm getting back on Pepper. These jellyfish and eels got me nervous. Everybody follow me. Everybody move that direction. Look what's right behind me, too. You dirty... Dirty fish. Everybody get up to the ramp. You know, I could I could probably keep the the critters down here in this spot, because I don't think anything will aggro them if they're this far back. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Come over here. I think I think we could just leave them here. Um, you know, because once we leave the cave, it's going to unload. Nothing's going to attack him anyway. And when we get back down... Okay, obviously... Follow distance 2 is too close. You know, we can run in here and control them... Before, uh... Things get bad, you know? Okay, so... I'm going to... Do this. 
Let's put everything in here. Except for, of course, our scuba gear. And our flippers, in case we need them. Do we have room to put some of this in here? I'm going to put my real valuable stuff in here. Just uh, We better keep that with us. You never know. In fact, let's keep the sword with us, too. The rest of this stuff doesn't matter. I, I'm just, in, just in case we, we, we die doing this, is the thing. Okay. Now, let's see if we can ninja back in there and grab that another artifact. Ah, crap, there's a jellyfish. Why don't we cleared all you assholes out of here. There's a bunch of them. Okay, let's just do this. Oh, did I say jellyfish? I meant eels. Are they still coming? Yes, I, I do see that jellyfish right there. Okay, don't let them get too close. Uh, okay, now... See if we can ninja past. Them. Oh shit! Got a little too close. Uh, okay, good. We got. It didn't last too long. Okay, we gotta grab this thing quick. And get back on you and get out of here. Oh, look who's stuck down here. There you go. Good. Well, that's a good thing we came back through. Okay, so yeah, I think the plan is we leave the team here. I'm going to breed a pig and put some points into oxygen. Not a ton, but more than, you know, I mean, that pig that we tried to bring down here had no points in oxygen that I put into it. Um, And get a pig down here that we just keep down here you know, for heals. And then the next time we run this, uh, I'm I'm gonna just direct the traffic, um, probably on Pepper. And we'll just use the ichthy to travel back and forth. And eventually, if we, um, well, the other thing I could do too is just supply the place real good. And then I can just fast travel down here. Because uh, what I was going to say is eventually what we could do is just um, set up a teleporter once we get all the tech stuff. And we still might do that, but that's that's still a little ways off. Okay, so I want you to ignore group whistles for a second. Um, I want everybody to... Follow Pepper. And I want everybody on neutral except for Pepper. And she'll be the anchor. And yeah, I think we're I think we're in good shape. I still need to uh, I still need to grab, you know, some loot to take back up topside but I'll, I'll i'll do that after after we end the recording uh which we're gonna do right now so guys thanks very much for watching we successfully ran the so-called easy this is not an easy cave absolutely if you're if your intent is to take the creatures on in this cave it is not easy i don't even know what's going to happen when we start doing the east cave but we'll find out <laughs> when it happens but uh we successfully ran this cave this time around. We didn't lose any of our actual army. We lost the Baryonyx, of course, and the, the pig, but those were kind of, you know, side gigs anyways, Un and actually unplanned things. I could have planned both of those um, deployments a little bit better, but, you know, it is what it is. It's, it's really not a big deal for me to run through here on foot anyways in that section. Uh, so I don't even think we need a Baryonyx down here at all. So... Yeah, um, I'm going to be doing more, more run-throughs of this cave. And 
you know, just farming up that artifact of the brute because we're going to need lots of them. And, you know, hopefully the next time we do this cave, we'll have a little bit better options for loot, too, because the loot was just terrible this time around. But, you know, we have a capable army. If we can get a pig down here to help, you know, heal them up, we shouldn't have major difficulties, you know, farming this cave moving forward. Uh, so with that being said, uh, I'm going to let you guys go here. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And again, if you celebrate it, I wish you a very Merry Christmas. Goodbye. Thank you.